Hello friends, we have started with discussion of plant hormone. We have already discussed about auxin and gibberellin plant hormone. You can refer my videos. The link is given in the description box. Today, we are going to discuss about kinetin and cytokinin plant hormone. So first of all, discovery. Credit goes to Miller et al. in 1950. He was working on the growth of tobacco pith callus in culture. How it was discovered? So while working on tobacco pith callus, various growth substances, nutrients, vitamins, etc. were added into the culture medium. But these failed to cause any growth in the callus culture. Then they added content of old bottle of DNA present in the lab and observed growth of tobacco pith callus for longer periods. Later on, similar results were obtained with yeast extracts. But with fresh DNA, no positive results were seen. Therefore, they thought the active substance to be some degradation product of DNA. And they concluded that possibly it was purine compound. Later on, it was identified as furfural amino purine. It was called kinetin because of specific effect on cytokinesis, that is cell division. But kinetin is still not isolated. Certain substance that show kinetin-like activity was isolated from a variety of higher plants collectively called cytokinin. These occur in plants, hence these occur naturally and these regulate growth, hence called natural plant growth hormone. Some naturally occurring cytokinins are coconut milk factor, also known as liquid endosperm of coconut. These contain factors that show kinetin-like activity. Hence, these are used in plant tissue culture in vitro. Zeatin, chemical name 6,4-hydroxy-3-methyl-butyl-trans-2-enyl-aminopurine. It was obtained as pure crystalline form from immature corn grains by Letha Metal. Hence the name zeatin. It is highly reactive. Hydroxyl group is present in its side chain. Hence it is more active. This is the structure of kinetin. This is the structure of zeatin. Distribution and transport. Cytokinin is found in transfer RNA preparations from a wide variety of organisms like brewer's yeast, bacteria, animals and higher plants. So we can say that these are mostly found in all complex plants, bacteria, mosses and fungi. Usually these are found in rapidly dividing tissues like root apices and growing shoot etc. Therefore present in highest concentration in these. These are synthesized in roots, especially during seedling stage and translocated to shoots and leaves of the plant via xylem. Now the physiological effects of cytokinin and kinetin. First is cell division. It induces cell division along with oxy. It is the most important physiological effect. Cell enlargement induces cell enlargement. Initiation of interfascicular cambium induces formation of interfascicular cambium. Morphogenesis has ability to cause morphogenetic changes in undifferentiated callus. That is when certain concentration of auxin and kinetin is added to the undifferentiated callus, it causes the differentiation or development of different plant parts. Example, high concentration of auxin and low concentration of kinetin results in development of roots. Low auxin concentration and high kinetin concentration results in the development of buds. 
Fifth is counteraction of apical dominance. We have already seen that auxine causes apical dominance and inhibit lateral bud. So in the culture, if auxine is added, then it results in apical dominance. That is, causes the growth of apical bud, but inhibit lateral bud. And if the kinetine is added, then it counteracts the apical dominance. That is, it inhibits the growth of apical bud and allows the growth of lateral bud. But naturally, there is a balance between the growth of apical bud and lateral bud. And this is due to the balance in the concentration of endogenous cytokinin and indole acetic acid which stimulate growth of lateral buds or control apical dominance. Now the dormancy of the seeds. Dormancy of light sensitive seeds can be broken by kinetin treatment in dark. So light sensitive seeds require light for breaking the dormancy or germination. But if kinetin is added, it overcomes the requirement of light and dormancy can be broken in the presence of dark. Similarly, kinetin treatment also overcome inhibitory effect of far red light. Far red light has inhibitory effect on seed germination and if it is treated with kinetine, then it overcomes the inhibitory effect of far red light. Also, kinetine induces germination of seeds of parasitic plants in the absence of host. Parasitic plants require presence of host for the germination of seeds but in the presence of kinetin it overcomes the requirement of host for the germination. Seventh is delay senescence. Senescence that is aging can be delayed by kinetin treatment. It was showed by Richmond and Lang in 1957. Hence, it is known as Richmond-Lang effect. And how it is possible? So, kinetin treatment prevents degradative catabolic processes by repressing activity of few hydrolyzing enzymes like protease, RNAs, DNAs, etc. Eight is promotion of chloroplast development. When etiolated seedling is treated with cytokinin followed by illumination that is exposed to light. Then it promotes the conversion of etioplast to chloroplast. Chloroplast then develop extensive grana and chlorophylls. Ninth is anthocyanin synthesis. In many culture cells, and tissues and in parts of intact plants cytokinin treatment increases anthocyanin content because treatment of cytokinin promotes anthocyanin synthesis and what are anthocyanins these are flavonoid pigments which are responsible for red pink purple and blue colors in plants tenth other roles and effect. Some other roles and effects are differentiation of interfascicular cambium, lignification, accumulation of solutes, stimulation of several enzymes, especially photosynthetic ones. This is all for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about biosynthesis of cytokinin. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.